Hello guys, long time no see, but I am back, for today anyway. I'm just an old lady, and I have bad times, feeling really bad. So, when I have those times, I don't come on. I just feel like felt like the past few videos I had done was just nothing but complaints, so I decided I would just stay off for a little while, and then maybe when I come back, I'd be more cheerful. So that's what we done, and today we are here with little Landon, and we're going to get him dressed for theme Thursday. Yes, we are. And theme Thursday, the theme for today is uh, bees, like buzzy bzzz, honeybees or bumblebees, or either anything that starts with the letter B. And then the alternative theme is denim or blue. Well, since I had... A boy today is my baby of the day. Uh, I didn't have anything for boys with bees on it, like bzz type bees. So I'm going with the alternative theme. Well, actually, bee would be the bee part of bee, right? Yeah. <laughs> anything that starts with bee, because I'm putting blue on it. But then blue is also the alternative thing. Uh, the denim part. Uh, denim and blue. So I guess he is covering all parts of Theme Thursday because his shirt is blue, which covers things that starts with blue, with B. And, uh, it also covers the alternative theme of denim or blue. So, anyway, you look at it, he's covered all, both sections of Theme Thursday. Yeah. So, I'm putting this brand new uh, onesie on him. He, um, you know, remember I showed you my closet uh, where I have the baby's clothes hanging on the back of the door. And then I also have some hanging up in the little hall closet area that they had never wore yet. And that I was going to start featuring the outfit of the day. Well, not only is today theme Thursday, but I'm it's the first day of featuring uh, those clothes that has never been worn or that is hanging on the door in the back of my closet. So, this here, and I forgot, I th it must be Disney for it to be uh, Donald Duck on it. It is, it's Disney Baby brand. It is zero to three months. It's a blue onesie, and it has Donald Duck on it, and I love it. I don't know why I waited so long to put it on one of the babies. And it says, I have arrived. <laughs> and it's so cute. Yes, it is. And we're going to cover the denim part because we're going to put these denim shorts on him if they're not too big. Uh, I think these are, let's see if the tag's in here. Yeah, these are Granimals three to six months. They may be a tad too big for him. But we're going to try and see if he can wear it okay. See if they'll stay up on him anyway. Yeah. Because we want him to have on some denim. Yeah. We want that baby to have on some denim. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good today. I've got a little dizzy type headache. Uh, not just swirling, but kind of woozy type headache. But other than that... I'm feeling pretty good today, so I decided I would come on and uh, do the theme Thursday and get my little landing fixed up here. We're going to put these little uh, blue, they're kind of like denim, 
uh, shoes, uh, tennis shoes on him, which is probably going to be huge. Uh, they are child of mine, zero to three months. And I have some socks somewhere. Okay, we're going to put these little blue socks on him. It's like a light blue and then it has a darker blue stripe. A couple of stripes around the, the top of the sock. So we're going to put that on him. And the socks fit him perfectly. Yes, they do. Those socks fits my baby perfectly. Turn your head that way so they can see you, baby boy. Mama's baby boy. Uh, guys, I just want to tell you. Um, you know what? I hope that's not girls. That's girl shoes, isn't it? That's girl shoes. Because of that bow. I'm not putting that on him. Guys, you know how I am. And hey, this is actually my video because I'm going to pause you. You know we can't have a video without me pausing you. So hang on. I'm going to go find some shoes that is boys' shoes. Okay, guys. Uh, you know me. Did I turn it? Is it going? I can't tell if it's going. <laughs> I can't tell if it's going. Yes, it's going. It's going, guys. I couldn't see the numbers to see if it was going. <laughs> uh, so we're going to put these little shoes on him. They're cutie pies. They are zero to three month. These could be for boys or girls. But I just didn't like that bow. I'm sorry, guys. I am funny. I want my boys to look like boys. And my girls to look like girls. Yeah. I don't want them wearing something questionable. Questionable? <laughs> Is that the way you say it? So, we're going to put these on him. So, they are blue. Kind of, not really denim type blue, but they are blue. And then they have like a... Uh, do you call that a mint green trim around it? That's the only color, only place we have that color on him, but it'll be okay. So, there is my baby Landon. And what I was fixing to say before I paused the video is... I am selling some of my babies... Yes, I go through this where I sell some and then I buy some and then I sell some and then I buy some. I'm just, I'm just crazy like that, you know. But, you know, you just decide you want to maybe not want some as much as you want another one. And, and so I can't have, I don't have room for every doll in the world as much as I'd love to have room for every doll in the world. <laughs> But uh, I am selling some of my dolls, so if you would be interested in knowing what I'm selling or would like to like for me to put up a video showing what I'm selling, just comment below and we'll see what I can work out. Um, I may just put the video up on my community wall uh, instead of putting it public for everybody. I mean, everybody that went to my community wall could see it. Uh, but, you know, it wouldn't just be a regular video. So, just let me know if you would be interested in purchasing. It's going to be mo <laughs> Well, I do have a couple of um, actual Reborns for sale. Uh, it's my new twin girls. The last set of twin girls I bought. Uh, I'm selling those. And then... Um, I'm selling some Ashton Drake and some Paradise Galleries. I have at least two partial silicone Ashton Drakes for sale. I have three, but one of them I'm not totally sure I want to get rid of yet. But um, I'm selling at least two of them, possibly the third one also. But uh, if, it, if you be, would be interested in an Ashton Drake partial silicone, uh, let me know. I'll 
let you know which ones I have. Uh, I am putting them up. If you follow me on uh, Macari or on um, Facebook Marketplace, I am putting them up there. I'm, I don't have them all up yet. Like I said, I'm an old lady and I don't feel good. So <laughs> it takes me a while to get just one put up, let alone put up a bunch. So a little along, I'm putting them up for sale. Uh, so if you follow me, which the links to um, my Facebook page and to my Macari page is um, it, always in the description. So you can click on that and go check it out if you are a member of Macari. So um, I am putting them up there. Uh, and I'm, like I said, I'm putting them on Facebook Marketplace. So just uh, you can check that out or, or you can ask me if I have a certain doll that you might have been looking for in Ashton Drake or Paradise Galleries. You can ask me if I have that certain doll for sale and I'll let you know. Um, but like I said, I don't have them all up on Macari or Facebook Marketplace yet. I'm just putting them up a little along as I'm feeling like fooling with putting them up. So, uh, you can check that out or ask me, like I said, and I'll let you know if I have that particular doll. And uh, I just wanted to tell you that, but I am so happy to be back. I miss it when I do, don't do videos, but, you know, sometimes I'm just not feeling well enough. I feel like all I'm able to talk about is my ailments and that y'all get tired of hearing that. And, and sometimes I get depressed and down and out. And then my videos is all blah, depressed and down and out. And I don't want to do that. So if I miss a week or so putting up videos, that's probably I'm going through a time that I just feel like it'd be best that I didn't do a video. But I try to always put up pictures on Facebook. Uh, I don't put it on my, just my personal wall. Guys, I, want, I just want to tell you, if you're on Facebook and you happen to ask me for to be friends on Facebook, most probably I won't accept it. Reason being is I never, or I say I hardly ever, just very seldom do I ever put anything up just on my personal wall. Now, I have my Facebook page so I can, you know, keep up with what family members is doing. You know, I can see what they're doing and all that. But I personally, as far as us being friends, if you're with me in a group, that's where I'm going to be doing my posting. I, I post on my groups. I'm in, um, I'm in several different um, uh, doll groups, and I'm in about three different craft groups. So... Um, you know, if if you're on Facebook, then if you're subscribe, if you're a, a member of those groups, then you will see what I've posted. I don't post it just up on my wall. So, but now Instagram, uh, I have my doll Instagram and my craft Instagram uh, page. The links are in the description, always in the description of every video. So, if you have Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram and be able to see the babies. I try to put up, sometimes I don't get it every day. Uh, matter of fact, this past week, I, I think there were several days I didn't put up a picture. That's how bad I was feeling. Um, but um, you're, if you see that I've missed several days putting up a video and you're following me either on Instagram or you're in one of the groups on Facebook with me, then you most probably will find a picture there of one, which baby I have for the day. So, um, you can always keep up with me there if I'm not putting up videos. Uh, I was trying uh, to get my channel, my YouTube channel, built up where I could monetize it. But guys, I let that rule me that I felt pressured and I felt like I had to do a video every day you know to keep uh, people subscribing to me and keep them interested in my channel and, and keep them coming back and it was just too much with with my 
health situation. It's just too much on me to have to put up a video every day and to feel that pressure of having to put up a video. So I have come, you know, I've, I've come to terms with things and if, it, if I never reach a place to be monetized, that's fine. That's not what I'm doing this far. I'm doing it because I love my babies and I love the interaction with you people. Um, but I can't let that rule me to the point that, you know, that it just, it, it got so stressful trying to get up a video every day. It just got really stressful and it really got me down. And uh, this is for fun. I'm doing this for fun. I'm not doing it for money. And even if I was to reach the point to actually be monetized, I was at one point on my craft channel, I had gotten up before they changed all the rules and everything. Uh, I had gotten up to where I was monetized on it. And um, for several years I was monetized and received two checks because you have to, I mean, it takes a lot of views to make any money on YouTube, a lot of views. And it took me a year to get one check because they wait until you reach $100 before they send you a check. Then it took me another year to get that second check. And then by the time I got that second check, they changed the rules, and now I am no longer meet the criteria of receiving money from YouTube because I don't have that many viewers, that many viewing hours. Because I got to the place that I wasn't able to put up... Um, you know enough of videos to have enough view hours from the people to keep me you know up to par for the mon modification mon anyway monetized <laughs> so I'm not making anything on my craft channel and I'm not make hadn't reached that point of subscribers or view hours on this channel so I have come to terms that I'm not gonna make any money on YouTube because I'm just an old lady and I can't keep up with what you have to do. It's hard to make money on YouTube and I'm, I'm doing this for fun. I'm not doing it for money. I'm not doing it for stress because that's what it gets me into is a bunch of stress whenever I'm trying to keep up with it. So guys, if I go a couple of weeks without doing a video, uh, you know, I'll be back eventually if, you know, the Lord's willing and I'm able. But if I'm not, then I'm not. I'm not worrying about it. This is for fun. If, like I said, if you, uh, if you want to keep up with me, uh, I may go ahead and start accepting back. Uh, well, Started to say I might start accepting friends again, other than family. I don't know that I will. You can always, if you're on Facebook, you can message me through Messenger on Facebook, whether we're friends or not. So, if you want to get in touch with me and find out how I am, if I've missed quite a few videos, and you have Facebook, just message me through Messenger, and I'll, you know, and keep in contact with me that way. Um, the main reason I don't want to accept friends on my personal wall and I, I want to just keep my friends through the groups is because when I ha when I got all these friends, then naturally you see all the things that they put on there, okay? Uh, that's including things, their personal things, you know, that they put on their personal walls or whatever. Um, and a lot of times, it just, I can't really find my family's post that they put. I like to be, when I, when I go on my Facebook wall, I like to be able to just see my family's post. And uh, then, you know, the groups I'm in, I go to the groups to find, you know, what's happening in the groups and with the people in the groups. So, I know, I'm funny, but... Um, I just like to leave my wall itself where it's clear that I can just see my family's post. And then the groups I'm in, you know, 
if you want to follow in the groups that I'm in and you're, you know, you can ask me what groups I'm in, I will tell you. You can go and, and join those groups on Facebook. If you have Facebook or if you have Instagram, you can follow me. Uh, I don't have my uh, settings on, on Instagram where, you, you know, I, where I have to approve it. If you click to follow it, just, you know, I have it public where you can just follow me on there. Um, so you can keep up with me either way through Facebook or Instagram if I'm not putting up videos for a while. So I didn't mean to just, I, I talk in circles. I should probably say the same thing. 500 times before I'm through. I'm just sorry. That's just, <laughs> I do that. But anyway, enough of that. You can get in touch with me through Facebook, Messenger, or through Instagram if I'm not putting up videos for a while. So, I'm here for fun. I'm here for the interaction with you people. Uh, but I can't let it be to the point that it's causing me so much stress of trying to do a video every day. So, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off of here. I wanted to share a little landing with you for a theme Thursday in his B, which is blue, and in the denim are blue. <laughs> I wish I'd had something for the little boys that had a B on it, had some B's on it, but I don't. So, we just did it with blue and denim. All right, guys. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Uh, I'm glad to be back and talking with you. And hopefully I will be able to be back tomorrow. If not, I'll see you when I get back. All right. Talk with you later.